Hi, and with this quarantine style haircut, I welcome you back to PAR Educational. Today we're gonna do the maintenance on the well-known PAR 1108 oxygen combustion vessel. This vessel takes its roots in the early days of PAR at the end of 19th century. After numerous improvements, this design turned into the 1108 series back in 1960s. It is still massively popular and is used in a wide variety of applications. Beyond standard variants, it has been customized and tailored in every imaginable way for the variety of special use cases. This is a durable vessel, if one takes good care of it. To make it last, do the maintenance regularly. If even one o-ring needs to be replaced, you must replace them all. Do not overpressurize it and avoid explosives and violently burning compounds. We have special reinforced vessels for the energetic material. Watch carefully for the corrosion and expect o-rings and sealing surfaces often. If the o-ring cannot contain the reaction inside the vessel, the vessel will turn into a high temperature torch. Before you begin, grab your own copy of 205M manual. If you have a non-standard 1108 vessel, like with platinum electrodes, custom alloy electrode, pressure transducer, custom fittings or other custom parts, refer to your specific manual or give us a call for further assistance. Wear protective gloves, glasses and other applicable protective equipment. Prepare the following tools. There are different variants of heads, but they all have just three standard type of assemblies to be serviced – needle valve, check valve and isolated electrode. Remove the main seal. This will be an o-ring in the self-sealing style or quartering in case of the compression sealing style. Remove the electrodes and the loop holder. There are two electrode styles. Non-permanent style electrodes are attached to adapters and secured with lock nuts, losing the nuts and unscrew electrodes. For permanent electrodes, remove the fuse wire between the electrodes. Then remove the ground electrode. Similarly, remove the loop holder. Now remove the isolated electrode. Remove the terminal nut and the insulator. Pull out the electrode and extract the o-ring. For permanent electrodes, remove the terminal nut and the insulator. Pull out the electrode and extract the o-ring. Sleeve insulator may need to be convinced a bit more. Now it is time to put the head in the fixture and tighten it securely in the vise. Disassemble needle valve assembly. Remove the needle and then start disassembling the body by removing the compression nut. Then remove the rest of the body and do not forget to remove the valve seat. Move to the check valve. Remove the inlet valve body. Grab a check valve. Sometimes check valve is stuck. Tapping the fitting is usually sufficient to dislodge it. Replace the following o-rings. And the valve seat. If the non-metal parts of the electrodes are damaged, replace them as well. Inspect the sample loop holder, replace it as needed. Permanent electrode screws also need to be replaced if they are damaged. If non-permanent electrodes are in bad shape, replace them. The outside ground electrode normally does not require cleaning. However, if it exhibits unusually high resistance, disassemble and clean it as well. Prepare the assemblies. Put an o-ring on the check valve and also prepare the o-ring for the check valve body. Put two fresh o-rings in a packing cup and cover them with a washer. Reassemble the check valve. Drop the o-ring in the port. Put an assembled check valve pin in the body and screw it in the port. First using fingers and then finish tightening it with a wrench, metal to metal. Reassemble the needle valve. Screw in the outlet valve body and tighten it with a wrench, metal to metal. Drop the new valve seat into the body. 
Drop the assembled packing cup with the washer facing up. Note that there should be two o-rings in there. Screw in the compression nut until finger tight. Insert the needle assembly and screw it in until it's firm. Then loosen it one full turn. Take the torque wrench and torque the compression nut down to 12 newton meters. Remove the head from the vise. For the permanent electrode configuration, attach permanent ground electrode. Assemble the isolated electrode core. Put a fresh o-ring and compress it with thirling insulator. Tighten the terminal nut. Be careful that you do not over tighten it, as you will crack the ceramic electrode insulator. Cut 5 cm of the fresh fuse wire and attach it to the electrodes using screws. Attach the capsule holder. The capsule holder comes in two styles. The newer one will have a permanent electrode style extension with a set screw. For the non-permanent electrode style, assemble the isolated electrode core. Put a fresh o-ring and compress it with thirling insulator. Tighten the terminal nut. Be careful that you do not over tighten it, as you will crack the ceramic electrode insulator. Attach electrodes into the adapters and secure them with block nuts. Get a fresh o-ring and put it in place. For the other style, get a quad ring and put it in the groove and cover it with a contact ring. Your head is now ready. Visually inspect the vessel cup. Note the condition of the sealing surface. Visually inspect the screw cap. Make sure that it's free of deformities and that the threading is in a good shape. Take a multimeter and check the resistance between electrodes. Pressurize the assembled vessel. Put the vessel in the bucket with the water and watch for bubbles in the valves and electrode area. If none are observed, your vessel is good to go. You should do 500 maintenance every 500 combustions or every half a year, whichever comes first. You should also do the maintenance if you see any degradation of the O-rings. Additionally, you should send in the vessel for the factory reconditioning, safety dimensional inspection and hydro testing after each 5000 combustions. Also send in the vessel after overpressure event or if any damage to the vessel is present. Contact us or your local authorized distributor for further assistance. Thank you for watching, stay safe and see you around.